welcome back to Farm Sim 22 and the next episode in the most profitable animal series and next we're looking at dairy cows uh, so we've brought the same field as we did in the sheep and we're putting down the uh, cow barn which holds 45 cows it's quite expensive and we're just putting down one shed and the rest will be grass because we're going to feed the cows a mixture of grass silage and hay mixed into TMR so I'm not doing straw on this uh, from what I can see the only benefit of doing straw is you get a bit more manure because without it you still get 100% productivity it would appear um, so yeah not doing straw I do forget to put down a manure silo extension it needs to be an extension to get manure I cover that in a bit um, in fact right now uh, so ploughing the field because ploughing removes all the weeds and gives us a bit of a yield bonus on the grass which is good cool because we need lots of grass to feed the cows and um, least the massive Ferguson and the plough to get that done because we couldn't afford to buy a big enough tractor to run a decent sized plough and we also released the uh, least a decent cedar as well to get grass planted time to buy all the kit we need because it's cows we need a lot more than we did with sheep going for the same Massey Ferguson tractor but we are going to need uh, the grass roller again because that does our fertilization we're going to get a front mower we need a tether to make hay we're going to need a windrower because we're making hay uh, we're going to need a baler that wraps because we need to make silage bales and we're going to need a forage wagon uh, feed mixing wagon uh, and a front loader with a bale fork so that we can put bales into the feed mixer so there's a lot more that we need to get for this um, we also need a trailer for delivering the milk and I pick up the LSFM tra trailer that's been released recently um, on the many mod sites and that lets you move milk and slurry and all sorts of things not realistic but what we had to do so just getting the first hay bales made off the headland and then getting into making some hay off the rest of the grass starting to look at the financial side of things we had to take out a huge loan to set this up we were four hundred and thirty thousand pounds dollars or euros in debt ending up four hundred thousand dollars in pounds euros or dollars in debt um, so it's expensive to get going a big chunk of that is that cow barn which was 250 odd thousand euros um, so not cheap looking at income wise so if we ignore the, uh, the cost of getting set up the animals made quite a lot of money um, in the region of about 120,000 pound dollars or euros uh, we would have made more if we'd have bought the older cows because um, we would have had calves earlier but either way we made about 120,000 in income which is obviously really nice the problem was with the massive loan that we had over the just over two years that i ran this we paid over 90,000 pounds dollars or euros in interest so that kind of wiped out what we made but if you didn't have to go into debt like if you were on a modded map and you didn't need to spend a quarter of a million on a cow shed you'd have probably been fine um so dairy cows make a lot of money per cow we made four and a half thousand pounds dollars or euros in the two years one month that i ran this experiment for i did an extra month over the sheep so that we could sell off the first lot of calves just because that's a big source of the income every other day i was bringing in seven to ten thousand from selling milk and about a thousand from slurry depending on the price um, and then we did a couple of big sales of manure which netted us about three or four thousand um, so cows bring in a lot of money and if you again there was a lot of cost involved because we were setting this up from scratch if you were already running you'd have been pretty good so as i was uh, i'm starting i'm working on the chicken video and i realized with chickens that actually the best thing to do is to just fill the pen uh, and i think the same as with cows so i only half filled this pen um, and then let the cows have calves and we sold the calves for about 14 and a half thousand euros um we would have been better to just get twice as much milk slurry and manure so the uh the graph that i've got on the screen now is what would have happened if we did that um, so income per animal doesn't really change except at the end we didn't sell the calves so we get more of a flat line than a slight kick up we made a lot more money um, 
so we uh yeah looking at all of our costs and stuff we still cleared a hundred grand so we would have knocked a lot more off of our loan uh, and without our costs we are up at making 170,000 euros over the two years and a bit um so the best way to run cows fill the pen and ignore the calves in my view moving on to comparing cows and sheep because that's the two we've done so far i've just done a straight comparison of how much money did we make uh, including what it cost to buy the animals per animal clearly cows make you a lot more over four times more pretty much um, but cows cost a lot more and this becomes more relevant when we move on to things like chickens as well so what i've also done is the cost per or the the uh, the profit per animal based on per thousand pounds dollars or euros you have to spend to buy the animals um, that does change things a little bit um, so sheep come in at about 1500 cows come in at about 3000 um, so you're looking at about double at that point rather than a factor of um, four so when you look at the cost involved actually the difference becomes less pronounced but i still think overall uh, and it's not a surprise really cows are much better for making money dairy cows than sheep sheep have always been a supplementary animal in my view next video we'll move on to chickens uh, which have opened my eyes quite a lot so i'll get that one out to you as soon as i can and if you're liking this series give me a comment below hit the like button subscribe if you aren't already